Peter was sleeping. The church was praying. The church was just praying all kind of prayer. Father, deliver, deliver. Peter, deliver. Peter was there. Did he know what the church was doing? He sat there, and I'm sure the, the guards must have said, you will be, we'll deliver you tomorrow. So he was there, bound. You know, when I started going through these scriptures, I started asking myself, are, situations, are there situations that make you feel bound? Are there situations that make you feel like there are, are soldiers of the enemy just around you? The Bible says the light from heaven shone into the room. The angel of the Lord tapped Peter. All this happened because what? Because the church was praying. Brethren, there is power when we pray. There is power when we pray. You know, they prayed so much that when Peter came out of the prison, they were still praying. They didn't realize he had come out. Verses 8, and the angel said unto him, Gird yourself and tie your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. Everybody say, Follow me. God is in the business of leading us. And the message today is get up and pray. Get up and activate your spiritual life again. Get up. We saw Peter initially. He was sleeping in prison. The church was praying. The church was praying for him. Peter was sleeping. The prayer of the church delivered Peter out. We also saw people binding themselves under a great cause to kill Paul. But Paul's sister's son came and said, Sir, they're about to kill you. God delivered him. But some sleep like Jonah. The word says, Arise! Get up! You've been sleeping too long. Get up! It's time to align yourself to the will of the Father. Get up! Sister Jemaya was talking this morning. I heard, practically heard everyone today. I was like, oh my goodness. Some are like baby Christians. Get up! Stop giving excuses. We've heard the psalmist say, if the Lord, God, had not been with us, we would have been consumed. Don't be full of yourself. Arise. Don't act like you got God under control. No, arise. Jonah was God's prophet. And the Lord said to him, Arise. Go to Nineveh. Arise, Jonah. Arise, the house of prayer. With the light of God on the inside of you, go into darkness and darkness will diminish. But Jonah rose up and fled unto Tarshish. God spoke a word to this man. God spoke a word to his prophet. Get up. But he ran away. This morning, question for everybody here. Are you running from God's word? Are you running from God's voice? Is God telling you to do something, but yet you are not? Are you sitting here with the idea that the church needs to take us forward? So are you sitting here this morning, even though God has spoken to you, for some of you here, God has said go into ministry. For some of you, God has said increase your level of service. For some of you, God has said I need you to come pray more. I need you to read God's word more. I need you to join the department. I tell you what, what God is telling you is for you. It's for your good. What is God telling you this morning? And you're still sitting. What is God telling you this morning? He says, but Jonah rose up and to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent a great wind into the sea. How many of you know that it is God disturbing you right now? But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship and was what? And was what? Men were about to die. And you were sleeping. And we can laugh at Jonah, but ask yourself, I didn't come to shout today. Ask yourself the question. Are there lives that are dependent on you as you speak? As you sleep right now, men are crying. They are about to die. I don't know what you're going through this morning. I don't know what God is dealing with you this morning, but it's time to wake up. This is the month of May. Many have not made it up until this time. It is time for the church to wake up. 